But that also indicates, just to say a little bit, that uh, this government would want to make sure that what is provided for in the Constitution, which is a freedom of association to expression, should be actually be not just said, but be seen to be uh, performed in the way that uh, the riot could do what they want to do. But while we want to make that uh, easier, uh, they still but be guided by other laws. If they say this is a uh, street protest and it's going to be perimpunan aman, that is what it should be in the spirit of the law. But what happened if it turned out to be rowdy and rough and create a lot of things? So then other laws will have to come in. All right? The uh, uh, criminal code, uh, whatever uh, other provision of the laws, to ensure that there will be always peace. And uh, if somebody goes against the law, other provisions of the law can come in. So we will depend so much on the uh, people or the organizers of whatever uh, demonstrations or perimpunan aman they want to do. We give them the, the freedom, which I think Malaysians should laud this move uh, to make things easier for you. So we are now taking away the expression of street protest. Uh, well, you can do so. But you follow the rules, make sure that it is peaceful, you know, uh, not to the extent that we create any issues of security. So, we'll, 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 so which basically means it's much, much more liberal. It is more in, in line with the spirit of the Constitution that we will not want to restrict the freedom of Malaysians to do what they want to do, even in terms of cessation or expression.